All right, well, Ed, thank you very much, my friend. Tom Belise is thank here you. with me looking at the financial angle. Tom, I would imagine that all things you're looking forward to fall flat if, say what you will, of the, the worthiness of the Muslim Brotherhood and that it's a, it could be another viable political party sure. uh, comes to power there. I don't know if that would be as well received as Waleed pointed out. Well, you know, he has some great points. I mean, and if we, we have to be aware, there's no question about it, but I think there's an historic moment here, just like when Ronald Reagan said his famous words, Gorbachev, tear down this wall. We went from an economic malaise to an economic boom over the, over the next 20 years. And I think we're entering into an era now where we could see it now come from the Middle East. I mean, everyone's been talking about when is their democracy going to come from some of these countries? But now this could be the start of it. And I think people are going to focus on the positive. Is it also great to be aware? Without a doubt. But I believe in the aspect of things turning in our favor. I think we're seeing that happen. There's a lot of work ahead. But I think overall the markets will like what they yeah. see and they'll trade as such. Jonathan? And actually, Neil, one of the hottest trades this past week have been, just what I was been mentioning, Egyptian stocks, if you can believe it. There's, hmm. there's an exchange-traded fund that trades right here in the States. The ticker is EGPT. Now, this is a fund, an ETF, that actually tracks Egy the Egyptian stock market. It got whacked, obviously, in the last couple of days. It's made a pretty strong comeback, as a lot of people are speculating on uh, American investors, exactly what's being referenced here is the spread of democracy, capitalism, and prosperity in Egypt. I think if you see the Muslim Brotherhood take, uh, take hold, I think if you see Muslim extremism really take hold, that's all put on, put on hold as well. We're looking at this uh, EGPT. Is it, what is it, a, an ETF or what is it? It is. Indeed, it's an exchange. Right, exchange. Exactly. I got Please. you. You know what's great about you, Jonathan? You could find a way to profit in Armageddon. I admire <laughs> it. I admire it. I deeply admire it. Um, Carolyn, uh, 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 let's say... We avoid this. It's a Tom's earlier point that we can, we can see our way through this. It stops at Egypt. The message goes out to the rest of the Middle Eastern leaders, royal families as well. Hey, you got to share the wealth. You got to address inequities in your economy. All to the good, and we can just say, all right, well, we got through that. What do you think of that? Uh, ne nevertheless, uh, Tom, at least this is our panel joining back, me back. People in the United States scratching their heads. All right, Neil, we know this is a big deal in Egypt. We know, you know, you're into it and you got great video and you're showing the streets of Cairo and you're covering the president's speech, but what the heck does it mean to me? Why is it important to folks here? I think at the end of the day, it's more to the fact that people now see that any type of misallocation of assets and the government having control of those assets is not the answer. And people here see that, you know what, we're now shifting from an area where now we have control in the House from the Republicans. And things are shifting towards an area where now we're going to be more pro-business than we were prior. And this is causing people to be a little more confident in our system. Because, Neil, at the end of the day, it's all about confidence. If people are confident in our system, they move and shake, right? That's what happens with the movers and shakers. And I see that. Well, happening. I will say this, to, 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 without putting a political stamp on it, we don't, we don't let sleeping dogs lie too long, right? I mean, uh, we don't wait to turn the bums out, do we, Jonathan? I mean, we're pretty rapid about that. Indeed, Neil, and unlike so many other countries throughout the world, we have a system of checks and balances here that protects the individual's right to his or her own life. And I think that's what the images coming out of, of uh, uh, Egypt in the last couple of days are so unnerving because you see what so many of these civilizations ultimately dis disintegrate into, which is simply mob rule, right? The people fighting the police, yeah, yeah. the police fighting the military, the military fighting the, the, the king, etc. So, you know, it, I, th I know I'm hearing from so many of our viewers and okay. listeners all over the world who are are so happy to live in a country like America based on... Based Caroline, on bottom line, do you think this settles down or are you still worried? Well, I, I think it's actually a wonderful thing that we're seeing these protests. Uh, instead of viewing it as mob rule, I think it's this historic moment um, and I hope that it does spread to other countries. It's a positive thing. All right. There's nothing wrong with the people getting their way. Nothing wrong with that at all, as long as they do get their way. We know what happens sometimes. <laughs> in vacuums, sometimes... Other people get their way. We're watching Egypt closely. So should you. Good night.